So now we're going to go on another adventure, and, uh, and in this adventure, we're going to take a slice and we're going to sort that slice. So let's say we have this code right here, and I have this starting code for you right under sort, starting code, so you could just click that link, and uh, there's our starting code. And we want to sort these strings. So if we, you know, slice of ints and a slice of strings, you can see that these aren't in sorted order right now, but we do want them to be in sorted order. So, uh, so how do we sort these values in these slices? So we can go to, and I'm just going to show you how you would discover this. Go to golang.org, and we could go to the documents, and we could go to uh, the package documentation, which is right here. And then in here, we could just do that command F, which brings up find in our browser. And I'm going to look for sort. And so in here, we have sort. Package sort provides primitives for sorting slices and user-defined collections. Nice. I'm going to go to godoc.org forward slash sort, just because I like godoc better, the formatting. Exact same content, just different formatting. And so we have uh, some examples up here where we have example, sort key, sort multi-key, sort wrapper. Package sort provides primitive for sorting slices and user-defined collections. And here's the index and examples and files. The examples, if I click examples up there at the top, brings me down to some more. And here we have uh, ints and package and slice, search, reverse. Ints sounds pretty good. So if we look at ints, we have a slice of int with some values and that's equal to s, and then we just do from package sort ints, pass in s, and then we print it out, and it's sorted. Let's give that a try. You could even just do this. Command C, ease of programming. <laughs> ease of programming. We could just come here, and now I'm gonna do xi is equal to, and sort ints. What does ints return? Let's go find out. Command F, ints. And here we have func ints, right? And it, and it takes in a slice of int. And do we need to even, it doesn't give a return. So do we even need to do an assignment? Right, like here it is. Takes in, whoa, come here, come back. Takes in a slice of int. And we don't need to, uh, to do any assignment because nothing is returned. All we have to do is sort it and it'll print it out. And you can see that's what it did here. Sort ints and passed in S and then printed S and S has changed. That's because probably what this does in its implementation is change where things are located in that underlying array. And so it doesn't have to, to reassign because this variable is pointing to, you know, that variable is looking at the value. Remember what a, a slice is. It's a pointer, a length, and a capacity, a data structure that stores those three things. And so where the data is, is that pointer points to this underlying array. So if this function changes that underlying array, then when this looks down to the underlying array, it'll see the different values. So I'm guessing that's the implementation. So uh, we don't need to assign it to anything. We just do that. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll put this next to that. Get rid of this one, bring that up. And boom and boom, and boom, and then we'll do a one more boom, and we'll just do a few lines to separate our output. Format it and run it. Undefined S, sort ints, I need XI, because I'm sorting ints, run. So here is a unsorted, and now it is sorted. 3, 4, 7, 12, 16, 18, 42, 56, 99. Great, now can we sort strings? Let's go back to sort. I'm just going to command F string and look for string. Come up here to the index, see what pops out as string. Search strings. Strings takes in a slice of string. This one, strings are sorted, takes in a bool. This looks promising. We can go look at that one. And uh, for strings, string sorts a slice of strings in increasing order. Nice. Let's try that. So we will do sort dot strings and a slice of strings and font dot print line to see if it's sorted. James Q M Money Penny Dr. No. Dr. No, D is first, and then J, and then M, and then M O, and then Q. Pretty cool. So that's uh 
just giving you a little bit of an insight into sort and then also how you could quickly, you know, uh, if you need to implement something, go look in the, the packages for the standard library, see what's there, and then take a look in there and, you know, start digging around to see, uh, to see what you have available to do what you want to do. <laughs> and of course, exposure is a big part of it. So I've already been exposed to the sort thing. So it looked like maybe, hey, I just discovered that. But uh, when you first are digging for something, it often takes a little bit more time. <laughs> So don't be dis discouraged if you're like, ah, oh, it didn't happen as easy for me. It took me an hour to find that thing. <laughs> don't be discouraged. It takes time to find stuff.